Pitts, an East Tennessee man undergoing a number of surgeries right now at Vanderbilt Medical Center. His family saying 40% of his upper body was burned. Yeah, nearly a week ago, members of the Knoxville Fire Department flagged down. Firefighters telling us that man, Brandon Smith, was part of a construction crew working on a building along Gay Street. Now, we're told he suffered electrical burns and was taken to UT Medical. New here at 5 o'clock, WATE 6 on your side reporter Laura Holmes sitting down with his parents today. She joins us now live here in the studio. And Laura, most importantly tonight, how is Brandon doing? Well, he's doing okay. Understandably, his parents say the first two or three days were rough, but he's breathing on his own and he's healing a little bit every day. It's hard to leave the hospital. The Smiths have been driving back and forth from Nashville to Knoxville so that 27-year-old Brandon Smith doesn't have to be alone. They told us when we got there that he would be there a month and he'd have to have several surgeries. So just to have two surgeries, it, it made us feel a lot better, you know. It's not as worse as they thought. Brandon's dad, John Smith, says he's an electrician and is passionate about his job. He was working in a panel that had 480 volts going to it. Something happened there and it uh, arc flashed on him and it burned him up pretty bad. Smith says his son's chest, hands, and neck are most severely injured. They thought he had a lot of third degree burns, but uh, turns out he had more second degree burns and um, his, his face is going to heal on its own. He's going to be fine. So they had to do skin grafts on his, uh, from neck down to his waist. Loved ones say Brandon is breathing on his own, speaking with them through whispers and a whiteboard. They're amazed at the hospital that he'll roll over and sit up to, when they change the sheets and stuff. And, and he just, he hates to sit. As he gets better, the Smiths ask for continued prayers as Brandon's wife is due to have their second baby next month. He's gonna get good, he's, he's gonna get better. That looks good, just takes time. And the family tells me Brandon's second surgery is scheduled for next week and they expect him to stay at Vanderbilt for the next month to two months, guys. All right, Lauren, thank you very much. And loved ones have created a GoFundMe account to help the Smiths as he heals. That's right, they're also collecting diapers, wipes, gas cards, and other day-to-day -day items right now. If you'd like to help out, we have made sure to put links and drop off locations on our website at wate.com. Just click under the As Seen On section. On your side tonight.